virus and biomagnetism. Nature of viruses Viruses are the simplest organisms that exist in nature. In fact, some consider that they are not even living organisms. Since they do not have metabolic functions, that is, they do not feed, do not breathe, do not transform substances, and therefore do not excrete. So how do viruses live? The virus itself is nothing more than a collection of instructions written on a nucleic acid molecule, DNA or RNA, surrounded by proteins. Thus, we have that the virus has a nucleus surrounded by a structure called a capsid, and some types may have an additional lipid and glycoprotein envelope that provides additional protection. The instructions that are written in the virus are not executed unless certain stimuli or circumstances occur. The information is latent indefinitely. The virus is in the environment, it cannot move by itself, and is activated when it finds a cell that can be infested. When it makes contact with the cell membrane, a series of biochemical mechanisms are activated that allow the virus to enter the interior of the cell. Once inside the cell, there is where the virus instructions are activated and begins to perform changes. The instructions allow the virus to replicate, that is, the DNA or RNA molecule creates an identical copy of itself and around this molecule several structures begin to form in order to create a new virus, for which it uses the proteins and substances found within the host cell. In this way the virus can replicate multiple times until the cell dies from the infection and the viruses are released back into the environment. Although this fatal outcome for the cell does not always occur, some other processes can occur. A virus can infest a cell and replicate in a matter of hours so their numbers can grow exponentially in a short time. As we can see, biological viruses are very similar to computer viruses. The latter are also just a series of instructions that perform automatically when they infect a computer system in order to replicate and then infect other computers through emails, USBs memories or other means. The difference is that computer viruses do not have physical support. They are only software instructions that were created by a malicious hacker to achieve a certain purpose. Spy, block, steal identity, disable servers, and so on. In the biological virus the instructions are recorded in the DNA or RNA molecule while the outer layer of glycoprotein would be something like the shell of the USB memory. Just as programmers must constantly be creating new vaccines for new computer viruses, the body must also constantly be creating new antibodies to attack new strains of viruses. Once the body has been infected by a pathogen it already has specific antibodies for that virus and it is easier to fight it. When the virus is new or the strain is heavily mutated, then it will take longer for the body to fight the infection. Evolution. Viruses are such simple organisms, made up of a few molecules that are tiny in size, a few nanometers, a nanometer is one millionth of a millimeter so they cannot be seen with light microscopes. It is not known for sure when the viruses appeared, it is believed that they possibly were formed from plasmids, protein molecules, from remnants of genetic material from other cells or that they were the result of parasitic cells that were degraded to become in viruses. There is even the theory that they were created from simple molecules, in that case they would be the first organisms capable of replicating themselves. Currently about 5,000 different species have been catalogued, but it is estimated that there are much more, since they form the most numerous beings in nature. There are viruses that infect bacteria, parasites, fungi, plants, animals or even other viruses, virophages. Most of them are innocuous. And in fact they are important since they allow the transfer of genetic material between diverse organisms. Classification. The classification of viruses can be given according to various criteria. 
depending on its type of nucleic acid, which can be DNA deoxyribonucleic acid, or RNA ribonucleic acid. Envelope. It can be a naked virus with only nucleic acid and capsid. Or an encapsulated virus that also has an outer layer of lipids and glycoproteins. Depending on their morphology. They can be helical, polyhedral or mixed. Depending on the cells they infect, they can be animals viruses, plants viruses, fungi viruses, bacteria viruses or virophages. Like other living organisms, it is sought to classify them according to the taxonomic criteria established by order, family, genus and species. In the human organism, they are also found in great number and variety. For example, the human papillomavirus is estimated to be present in more than 80% of adults. And herpes, of which biomagnetism has identified at least nine different types, is estimated to be present in two-thirds of the world's population, with a slightly higher incidence in women than in men. In fact, herpes has different species of type 1, such as cold sores, herpes zoster, cytomegalovirus, Epstein Barr, varicella virus, and herpes type 2, genital, which is transmitted mainly through sexual contact. This family of viruses is housed in the nervous system and can remain inactive there indefinitely, undetected by the immune system. Most viruses have a latency period of illness, followed by a period of symptoms that can last from a few days to weeks, and finally a period of remission. If the body is in a healthy condition on its own, it will be able to fight the infection in a more or less predictable time, without the need for medication. The problem is when the immune system is affected or there is an energy metabolic imbalance. In these cases, virus infections can be fatal. Or complex diseases. In which other pathogens such as bacteria, fungi or parasites are added to the viral infection. Dr. Goas has shown that the case of cancer always involves an association between different pathogens, almost always beginning with a viral infection process. Antivirals and vaccination. Viruses are the oldest organisms in existence, possibly older than bacteria or archaea. There has always been this fight between viruses and other organisms and it is constantly happening in our bodies. It should be noted that antibiotics have no effect on viruses, since they only serve to control bacterial infections. Antivirals have been developed in recent decades, in part, in response to the AIDS syndrome. Many scientists question its use since the effectiveness, in general terms, can be limited or discrete. For more information, consult the link in the description of the video. Vaccination is the best means of prevention offered by medicine against viruses. It is estimated that millions of deaths have been avoided in recent decades thanks to vaccination campaigns. Even taking into account the possible adverse effects of some vaccines, such as measles, probably responsible for thousands of cases of autism, the balance remains favorable in terms of the application of vaccines. For all the above, biomagnetism is a first hand tool in the fight against viral infections. Many consider that it achieves better results than existing drugs. Biomagnetism. According to Dr. Isaac Goas Duran, viruses proliferate in acidic environments. When there is an acidification of an organ or tissue, is when the infection can arise. As in other pathologies, it is enough to balance the pH with the indicated pair so that the organism can unfold its natural healing processes. This explains, for example, why the herpes virus is activated only in stressful situations. In this condition, the body's pH changes and the cell also suffers from stress, allowing the virus to activate. Here is a list of some of the viruses that can be treated with biomagnetism and their incidence and mortality statistics. According to WHO report viruses annual deaths worldwide
tuberculosis. 1.6 million, 2017. Herpes, 417 million. HIV, AIDS 940,000, 2017 average, seasonal flu 470,000. 2017 average, measles 110,000, 2017, yellow fever 45,500, 2013 average, dengue 20,000, 2007, Ebola 11,000, 2015-16 estimate, poliomyelitis 33 cases, 2018, considerations. As we can see, viruses are the smallest and simplest organisms existing in nature. They are the ones with the greatest number and variety and are found in the environment. Although not all survive in the same circumstances, some can travel through the air, airway, microdroplets, while others require infection through other species, animals, insects, such as the dengue or Zika virus. It should also be taken into consideration that some viruses are almost uniformly distributed worldwide, such as influenzas, while others are endemic to a region such as dengue, which is commonly found in tropical climates, while in regions such as Europe if it occurs, it is surely a virus brought from another region. The case of Ebola is a virus from Africa, which until recent years has been identified with very focused outbreaks, but extremely aggressive and deadly. Therefore, the types of viruses that the therapist finds in his practice will largely depend on his geographical location and the type of population he attends. You should always try to verify the form of contagion, which could be simply by air, by sexual contagion, or by an animal, rabies. This to prevent contagion again. If necessary, treat the person or vector animal. Dr. Goas also recommended eliminating the toothbrush, rake, washing all personal implements, and avoiding sharing them. The follow-up given to the patient is at the discretion of the therapist. Visit our website biomagneticguide.com presenting the most complete guide on biomagnetism on the internet. If you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe to keep up with new publications. Thank you for your kind comments that help us to improve and get to know your topics of interest.